Hi friends, this is Carmen. Welcome back to my channel. I've got a quick video for you today, but it's an important one. I'm going to be repotting some plants that I've recently got. Actually, two of them I recently got and one of them that is a recovering one. And I'm going to be putting them in some uh, brand new pots that I got. So let's get to it. Okay, so recently I was sent a couple of pots, ceramic pots, and a tiered plant stand that I'm going to show you in just a minute here. But I've got this set off of Amazon. The company name is Jofami. I'll put the link down in the description box along with their um, discount code also. But they sent me these two pots along with the tiered uh, plant stand and the pots come with a couple of plugs so I could plug it and use it as a cash bow or not put the plugs in and just plant right into it which is what I'm going to do and uh, the plants that I'm going to be putting in these today is this ZZ plant that I got recently um, one of the reasons I want to repot this is that I'm not super crazy about the white plastic pot, but I noticed this right here, this material inside, and it looks like it's wrapped around the roots. Sometimes planters will do that. They'll um, plant the smaller uh, plants uh, with the roots wrapped into a bigger pot and this is what you get this lining or sometimes you'll see it as a little plastic um, pouch but that is not good for the plant so i want to take this soil that is a very much cocoa coir not very good and this off now the other plant that i got from them is this one this aglandema silver bay i haven't seen at least in looking, I haven't seen that lining, but I haven't taken the plant out yet. So it could be that it has the little plastic lining or the material lining. So I'm going to take those out. Now the ZZ plant I'm going to put in this bigger pot. I have this terracotta pot here that I got at the same time actually. <clears throat> and I'm going to put this aglaonema in the terracotta pot now those are my newer plants the one plant that i've mentioned to you that is recovering <laughs> is this philodendron silver sword i have had this plant for about 18 months now and it lost all of its leaves while it was at my mom's house and then it started to grow back these leaves here and it's starting to grow up here so it is a recovering plant coming back from the brink of death so i'm going to put that one in this smaller pot here so i think that it's it's doing well enough that i can put it in in another pot now okay so let me uh, tilt the camera down so you can kind of see what I'm what I'm working with okay okay so here is what I am working with this is um, Fox Farms Ocean Breeze and um, I would I've used this before many times I've used their happy frog also as far as costs go this is the best you can get for a lower price point um i don't recommend miracle grow um or even espoma really um, but the fox farm has lots of nutrients it's very organic and i think for the price point of twenty dollars let's say for a 16 quart bag this is probably the best you can get beyond that i would recommend the tanks green stuff um and i've used that before but i didn't have that on hand so i wanted to use up the one uh what i did have on hand and this will be perfect for this 
particular repotting. Okay, so let's start with the little guy first. What's the matter, Rosie? Did Sam not want to play with you anymore? So I've had this in this self-watering little pot here for a while and I'm not even going to take, I'm not even going to take the little pole off, but it's doing well. You see that there, that little white root there, that's doing really well. It's growing up here. It's doing really well. This was a full plant. You know, I got this, I want to say a plant stand of Arizona. And then it didn't do well in the move and it started to die off while I was at my mom's house. But I cut it back and I knew that this stem was still good. So I let it alone and all of a sudden it started growing these and this up here. So I think it's ready to be potted back up. So let me just set her there. I'm not going to put the plug into this hole. I'm just gonna use my hands. And I wanna make sure that I get it at the same level that it was, not too deep, not too high. These plants here are going to go on that new uh, five-tier plant stand that your uh, family also sent me along with these pots. And that is going to be facing my east-facing, uh, in front of my east-facing window here in the dining room. And I will show you all of that once I get it repotted and set up. I've got kind of like a, a color scheme going with all of these. There you go. I do love this ceramic and rougher ceramic here. That's going to do wonderfully there. I am going to give these a good drink of water afterwards. Okay. Let's go ahead and now these uh, may look like the Costa Farms, but they are the Vigoro plants, which if I can get it out. Eventually. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna take it out this way. There we go. So I will be using this again at some point. And this. And really, really nice roots. Look at that. But I have a feeling, I don't know, let me see. This here I will use again. This is a very good cocoa car actually, but it just doesn't have enough thickness to it um, for really good drainage for long, um, for the health of the plant long term. Okay, this one did not have any type of um, little plastic basket or lining. So that's good. But the roots are really nice. And I'm just gonna tickle them here. A couple of them fell off, no big deal though. This is a healthy plant. Just gonna take off some of the dead leaves down at the very bottom here. Looks like there's a new growth point right there. That's nice.
really healthy roots. Okay, so we're gonna put it in here in this terracotta pot. Make sure that it's at the same level. And now backfill it. Give it a shake to get the soil in between those healthy roots. Pat it down so to get settled down in there, get rid of any air pockets. And it's got a nice leaf opening up there. Gonna grow real nice there. Okay, so now we're gonna take out this uh, ZZ plant. Oh. This is a healthy one. Look at that root. two or three coming out of there. So, here we go. Wow. Look at that. Definitely a healthy plant. I knew it was healthy from the newest leaf it was growing, the newest stock, but wow. So let me take off some of this outer soil. I can see the lining that it was wrapped around in, and I'm sure, yeah, the you see the roots have grown through the liner, so I'm hoping that I can take this off without much problem. Shake off that looser soil. This leaf broke off, but you know what? Um, ZZ plants, I can propagate this in water and it will grow. Give it a shake. Get the soil down in there. Beautiful. I'm going to put a little something there to hold it up. Let me show you where I'm going to put them. Okay, so here I am in my dining room. And this is the five-tier plant stand that I was telling you about that Jafami also sent me along with these pots right here. And I put this together by myself. You know, it was easy to do. It does have wheels on it get under there and it does have little brakes on the wheels now you can put the wheels on it or you can leave them off if you want to just let it lie you know stand flat on the ground but I may be moving this around so I put the wheels on it and I have it here in front of my east facing window right now the blinds are closed because of the backlighting but what do you think now I do need to put um, some little plastic saucers underneath to catch the water when I water them. So I still need to do that, but I wanted to show you kind of like the taupe and, and uh, creamy color scheme that I've got going here. This is my um, string of hearts, my variegated string of hearts and it's doing well there the color of this this is from urban jungle but that color scheme fits with this one so i still do have um a a base right there 
that I can put a plant down and even down at the very bottom if I wanted to. Something that's not going to require too much light because it is below the window sill there. But, um, you know, maybe like a Sansevieri or something like that. But make sure that you check out the their amazon store and if you like these there is a discount code that you can use um for both well for anything in, in the cart from their store really either the pots or the plant stands so thank you jafami for sending these to me i really really do love them well, there you have it friends i am so so happy with this it's a um brief video but i think it's one that needed to be done um because these plants were ready to be repotted and i was glad to share that with you and um share with you also some new pots and plant stand that i got if you enjoyed the video friends please do make sure that you give it a thumbs up that helps me out so very much and if you haven't already please do subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos i will see you in the next one friends have a blessed day bye bye now